Now to a neighborhood battle that's getting results. The neighborhood, Gage Park. The street, the 55 and 5600 blocks of South Oakley. The problem, crumbling roads and craters everywhere. And this isn't new. Take a look at this street view image we found on Google Maps from 2009. Residents tell us nothing has changed until now. Here's CBS 2's Jim Williams. The aftermath of heavy rain adds to the misery here in the 5500 and 5600 blocks of South Oakley. We saw pockets of standing water in large craters. When I complain about the holes in the street, they patch it up. Um, and that's about it. That is only a temporary fix. And it'll actually ice straight across the street. This entire two block stretch is in poor condition. And the block needs to be totally repaved. We don't have curbs, so it's all soil. So the soil is eroding, which is causing trees and other things to shift. For decades now, this block club has been pleading for help. With all the last three aldermen, the last two mayors, committeemen, senators, everyone in between. Writing emails. This was a complaint to... Calling the city repeatedly. They say, well, you're still on the list. We just haven't got to you yet. And still nothing. And still haven't got to me. Mr. Lee says in the 43 years he's lived here, he's never had a curb. So he dropped these planks to keep cars from rolling up onto his grass. We reached out to Alderman Raymond Lopez, who, while sympathetic, told us reconstruction here would wipe out most of his infrastructure budget for the entire 15th war. He says this is a so-called WPA street built during the 1930s when the Federal Works Progress Administration put Americans to work during the Great Depression. Lopez insists Congress should allot money to make the repairs. Meantime, neighbors like Renee Elms vow to keep up the fight. I've gotten to the point of just maybe I should just move and stop. But I feel like that's not fair to the residents, many who have been here over 40 years living on this block. Engage Park, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Just minutes ago, a spokesperson for the Chicago Department of Transportation told us Mayor Lightfoot is increasing funding for WPA streets to nearly $38 million next year, up from $3.7 million this year. One of the streets slated for major reconstruction is South Oakley, the street we were on today.